Can we get a clap? Oh, that's just a clap. She went for a blow. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to CZ's YouTube channel. It's your girl Jesse And Clay. So we get a lot of questions from both tall dancers and short dancers asking for tips because depending on your height, you do have specific challenges and advantages. Our special guests for this episode are Dassy Lee and J. Chris Moore. Hello, my name is Dassy Lee. I'm originally from South Korea. I'm a member of Femme Fatale and W. I've been dancing for about 20 years. I've been on So You Think You Can Dance season 14. I've been traveling around the world, teaching dance, learning learning, also battling and performing, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. What's going on everybody? My name is Jay Chris. You may recognize me from dancing with teams like GRV, Academy of Swag, Culture Shock Los Angeles, or you've seen me dancing on stage with MC Hammer or my own company, The Mob Dance Group. So today I would like to teach you my choreography. It's a popping. Oh yeah. Straight popping. Let's go. <laughs> We're starting very basic walk. We're gonna use the same arm and same leg. We're gonna pop up together. Pop, down, pop, down. Oh, just from the jump, just okay. All yeah. right. <laughs> just not even gonna ease into it, but it's gonna okay, here we go. Here All we right. go. Pop, 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 pivot, pivot, yeah, it's already good. Oh. But because you are tall, you'll be over there. And I, I know I'm gonna be on the other room. A little bit like Okay. Okay, let's go. And three uh. and four and up. I think that you are going out, like Cobra going out okay. this way. Yes, yes, yes. Kung, ka, kung, ka. Yeah. Ha, six, three, four, five, six, oh. seven, eight, one, two. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, yes? Yes. <laughs> that, that's not. That's me throwing my stress away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> She hits super hard. The placements, her pathways are insane. So it's like she's able to get to like certain places a little bit quicker than me. So I have to extend a little bit more just to kind of like translate the movement. So it looks just as big on me as it does on Dasi. Because I was so excited to just like get into the choreography, I didn't pay attention to my own breathing patterns, which was restricting me from being able to hit all the levels that I wanted to. Just focusing on breathing patterns and then technique, which would be a lot more beneficial in the learning process. When she comes down and when she brings it in and when she like moves her hips her level changes so much that I really have to like drop down but it's hard to not look awkward when you're doing it but I remember like dancing on GRV and stuff and dancing with shorter people like levels is a consistent thing that I had to drill into my body so I'm glad I had that training to help me do that now we're gonna learn my piece why you look so nervous I'm not nervous okay it's, it's regular me at okay home. <laughs> it's definitely easier than your piece boom 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 tick 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 Tip, tip. Okay. Also, there's no legs for that. It's literally just all arms. If you do that, I'm gonna be mad because that's I can't do that. And then I'm just gonna be like, this is your routine now. Football, tap. Bring it out to prep. And we know what's coming next. Boom. Tip, tip, catch, hop, boom. Tap. Yes. And five and six and seven and eight and boom. <laughs> Drag over, bring it up, come over. Step, step, touch, step, touch. Boom, 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 boom. Tick, tick, hit, hit. Oh my gosh, you got it. Tick, tick, ha, ha, ha. 
She was playing us. She, she was playing us the whole time. Oh my God! Tall, short, tall, short. I'm closer to the ceiling. She's closer to the floor. Easier to tie her shoes. I think the musicality was somehow hard for me. Every choreographer choreographs uh, in different uh, music uh, musicality, so it was kind of hard for me. But other than that, it was really fun. Once I hear the music, I know what I'm doing. I think I should work on more detail, small movement, because I have a habit of doing big, so everything gets really like sloppy sometimes. So I think I need to be more cleaner side. I loved Jay's choreography, like whole thing, because the musicality was so on point with the music. I loved how he used the tutting because I need to really work on my tutting. So it was really challenging me. And also when we dance together, actually it really looked super sick. I was kind of worried because I never learned his choreography before. I never really met him, really kind of interact with him. So I was worrying until we danced, like we like just fire together, you know? So don't doubt yourself. If you're short, it's okay. If you're tall, Use that. <laughs> I like all of her execution. I mean, she's a beast, man. She is definitely one of the more powerful shorter dancers that I know of as a freestyler as well. She's able to explode and the dynamics that she has in her body, being able to go from something smooth and chill to just placing that hit and her body control just in general. If you've seen her dance, you won't forget it. Dossie's definitely up there in like one of my top 10. I got a huge respect level for her. How tall do you wish you were? Yo, okay. How tall do I wish I was? All right, if you asked me like 10 years ago, I would say I want to be a strong 5'8". Now, I would be happy at a strong six foot. Being like an even six foot is just cool. You can be at that Allen Iverson height. He was 6'1", and he was balling. I'm 6'4", and it's really not doing that much. Like, I'm not playing basketball. As a dancer, it's been a blessing because it's helped my dynamics. It definitely helps me be, be noticed with my height, but I've never been short. So I don't know what it's like to be short. Um, <laughs> I think as a dancer, I wish I was 5'6", because it's kind of good height to get an audition. Because sometimes they don't look at me because I'm too short. But at the same time, I just like myself. I'm 5'2", or 5'1", or whatever. <laughs> I just don't really care. I love myself. I can bring as much as the tall dancer. I can bring the energy with my small body. I can do it. I know how to do it. So I don't really care about it right now. Just dance big. 
I think that dancing big is very, very important. Sometimes we have a tendency of shortening our moves if we think something is too intricate or if it's hard or if it's fast. I think just going for it initially and expanding your body as much as you possibly can is what's gonna help you. If you're not being fully dynamic throughout your whole body, you're not being the best possible dancer you could possibly be. You're not telling the story in its fullest potential. We don't wanna whisper, we wanna tell our stories with confidence. So small or tall, take up all the space you possibly can. Don't put you inside of the box before you learn, before you experience it because I, when I was learning popping, I didn't really think that I was small. I always think that I can just like impact everyone in the room, even though I'm in this tiny stage, I can show my power. So just don't put yourself into the box, just do it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you take five seconds right now to think of your tallest dancer friend and your shortest dancer friend. You got it? Now share this video with them. You can also follow both of these dancers at these social media channels. Desi and J. Chris are actually both Steezy Studio instructors as well. So if you want to take class from either of them, then log on to steezy.co and get seven days of free dance classes. Now, if you've been subscribed to Steezy for a while, which you should be, we've been doing the series called This Versus That. We did Crump versus Whacking, Beginner Dancer versus Advanced Dancer, and now Tall versus Short Dancer. So let us know what kinds of dancers you want us to compare in the next episode by commenting below. See you in the, in the next, next one! one.